multicolored spandex. What more can you ask for? Hey, what's up? Welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at GoGo -Go Power Rangers number 16 and I'm loving the cover. They're all mixed up in very, you know, colors that aren't their colors, so to speak, which I find very, very enjoyable. So there's the usual good stuff at the beginning about the writers, the illustrators, the colors, the letters, the covers, the variants, the movie variants, etc, etc. So in the page, clearly we got Mama Rita. Um, <laughs> and she is pretty cool. I'm really absolute, absolutely love that outfit. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And clearly one of her, um, uh, minions has gone power ranger mode on her. So this creature that she sent to steal the power coin has morphed into the green ranger. And she soon realizes her mistake because the queen pretty much rips her to pieces. So meanwhile, in the now, Zornon is telling the guys that, you know, if you haven't found Rita, we can teleport you back. And Tree's like, no, we found her. We got a plan. Uh, but she doesn't have a plan. She's following Jason's usual, let's just get on with it and I'll figure out a plan as I go along. So meanwhile... Um, Adriel's wanting to go to Earth with Rita, if that's how you pronounce her name. It probably not, but that's how I'm saying it. And pretty much she decides to go a bit rogue and takes Rita down, or so to speak. So she was willing to follow Rita and obviously learn from her and then take over. Which is pretty cool. So who comes to Rita's rescue? Ironically, the Red Ranger. Or Trini, the Red Ranger, at this point in time. So, Rita warns her, this is no ordinary enemy, this is a Power Ranger. So, this is the smart bit. So, they're about to go into battle. And then the cavalry arrives. And immediately, something's wrong because they're all in different colors. So, if I got this right, that's Zack. That's Billy. And there's Kimberly. In fact, I think that's Kimberly. That's Zack. That's Billy. Um, I might be a bit confused here. No, Zack is in the pink Ranger outfit. So Billy's in the black. <laughs> oh God, that was confusing. So the Rangers actually relish getting to fight with the other weapons because, you know, they've not usually fought with those weapons. So Billy is enjoying the cosmic cannon. Uh, meanwhile, Zack has a bit of trouble with the bows. But... Alpha helps <laughs> with that, so he opens up uh, portals, which allows the bows to hit the bad guys. So the battle for supremacy is on, and Adriel feels like she's got the upper hand. She's actually a bit disappointed. Um, quite a cool bit here is where Zach's like, where do these arrows come from? And Kim's like, I don't have a clue. And I stopped asking a long time ago. Uh, meanwhile, Trini's saying, Rita's the real target, we're wasting time, etc. And then Jason's like, hey, let's follow the leader. So that's that's pretty cool as well. He's willing to step over while she's in red. So these are moments that I always love, how they do some amazing art there to form the power blast. And then you got the rangers kind of, you know, you, got, you know who they are and they're calling their weapons, etc. So stuff like that I always dig. So meanwhile... Adrienne is ready to cut off Rita's um, <laughs> hand and pretty much the ring's like hands up and she's like when I'm finished with Rita I'm going to take you on and they're like no we're going to do this now and just blast her basically. Okay it was quite interesting seeing Rita being bested in her hands to hands fight and that kind of makes sense because it, it, you know she was always at the back commanding rather than going into the battle etc etc in fact throughout the comics that we've seen in go go power rangers all her victories she's sent something beforehand so but even so she is not to be trifled with and i suspect she would have won given a, a couple more fight scenes so to speak and she's not even phased by the power blaster she just shrugs it off etc and then she leaves the rangers with that little cryptid note farewell 
that, you know, maybe she's not willing to kill rangers. I don't know. It seems a bit strange. But she gets back to the palace and she's all about, you know, we're victorious, etc. And I'm glad that the palace is standing in one piece. Pretty much, you know, you guys are grunts. So, is their plan going to happen? He's like, okay, so the rangers are back in there. You know, they felt connections with each other's um, powers and personalities, I feel. However, Jason's not happy. He felt like they failed. And... Zorin's like, we're attack or whatever, Rita throws at her. So Trini says, senses that she felt that there was another power going on there. So Kimberly tells Trini about her date with Skull. And meanwhile, Bog's not happy. He comes storming in, saying, you know, that's my buddy. You, you know, you've broken his little ha heart. He adored you, etc. Get it, Kimberly Hart. <laughs> Sorry, bad, bad pun intended. And Kimberly tells him that she actually had a wonderful time and that Skull was a perfect gentleman, etc. So, um... Yeah, that's that. Anyway. Okay, so the feast is happening. However, before um, Rita can have a bit of her wine and get a bit tipsy, Bamboo comes in and says, Squat poisoned her. <laughs> he, she obviously says, Is it true? And it's actually a test by Rita Repulsa. Surprisingly enough, a nice little twist in there, which I didn't expect. So, and it was to see if they were ready for what they were going to do next, and that's create a Green Ranger. Um, as the last few stories have been around Trini and Jason, they give us a nice kind of little, not an ending to them, but um, a kind of little moment, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. And basically, you know, they like each other, and but they're not going to act on it now, I don't think. So Billy intends to find out who was covering for them while Jason and Trini was away, and pretty much... That person is there talking to them and he found them, he knew what they were doing, etc. So which is quite cool. And it's an old friend. Looks like Alpha, but something seems off. Anyway, to be continued. So I keep saying this every review, Ryan is a brilliant writer. He knows his characters, he knows what he's doing with them. He's not doing anything crazy. He's borderline on around the series, but it's it's all different. Everything is different, and it's it works for me. It is perfect, and I dig it. So thank you for watching. Embrace the geekiness. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Facebook page, Smurd P. Also, I'm on Twitter, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Tweet, tweet. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>